All right, what's up guys? It's me, Sean, here with some AWS tutorial here today. And today we're going to be looking at how to put items into S3 bucket with proper settings. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do here is you need to log into your AWS console. And if you did, go ahead and then browse into S3 under storage section. And if you go into S3, go ahead and click on the bucket you wanna access. If you don't know how to create bucket, please go ahead and check out my previous video. So if you go into your bucket and if you don't have any items stored in here, you will see the same page as I do. So first, I'll show you something cool where you can create folders in bucket. So folders don't cost any money. So it's always nice to organize your files within folders. So go ahead and click on create folder and let's name your folder something. After you name your folder, just hit save you can actually browse into your folder and you can also back out of your folder. Now, let's try uploading a file. So go ahead and click this upload. And if you hit this upload, you will see this modal here. Go ahead and hit add files, upload any type of file. And one thing to note here is that you can actually add more than one file at a time. So if you wanna add more than one file, go ahead and hit this plus button and after you choose in a file that you want to upload go ahead and hit next and if you hit next you'll be able to set permissions for this file i'm going to skip over manage users like i did in bucket creation just because it doesn't make sense for me to change this permission here but you might want to check out this manage public permission section because amazon makes your objects private by default but if you want to make it public so that you can actually download via links you need to make this object public but for demonstration purpose i'll just make it private and hit next and if you hit next you'll be able to browse into this section where you can set properties so one thing to note that is very important is the storage class. So AWS S3 offers three storage class types. One is standard, and second one is standard infrequent access, known as IA. Third one is reduced redundancy. So what are some differences? Let's go over them real quickly. So standard is most standard option. You can check out the pricings and all that stuff from Amazon's page. And the second option here is standard infrequent access. So Amazon recommends you to use this storage class type if you're putting files that you're not going to access frequently. So they do offer a little bit cheaper deal for storing your file in S3 and keeping them, but they do charge you a little bit more for accessing them. Third one is reduced redundancy, where Amazon claims that it offers a little bit less durability. So there's 0.001 or 0.01 percent chance of losing your file but it has cheapest deal out of all three of these storage classes so honestly if you're keeping some file that you don't really care then i recommend you to use third one just because it's the cheapest so now look at encryption so amazon s3 offers ability to encrypt your object when you put your file up on a cloud so you can either set it none or you can either use Amazon S3 generated key or you can actually create KMS key and use that here. For simplicity, I'll just go with none because I don't really care about encryption for this demonstration purpose. But if you're keeping some sensitive data, I really recommend you guys to actually use encryption option here. Third thing is you can add metadata to your object when uploading. I don't really need to put metadata, so I'll skip this step here. So if you hit next, you'll go into this review section where you have to review your stuff. And if you think it's all correct, go ahead and hit upload. And if you hit upload, it will upload it into S3 here. And if you want to access this file, go ahead and click on the name. And there is a link to actually go and download this file. But as you can see, because we set the public permission to be false, we won't be able to access it via link. So if you wanted to download via link, you have to make that public permission to be true or set it to a public permission. So let's go back. And if you want to download this file, go ahead and hit download. If you hit download, this will download your file onto your computer. So now let's go back to our bucket and we're going to try to delete this file. So go ahead and click this check mark. 
and go into more and hit delete. It's going to prompt you to delete one more time and go ahead and hit delete. And if you do, you will see that your file is gone now. So that's how you put items onto S3 bucket with proper settings. If you guys have any questions, please leave questions on the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.